Hello, welcome to February 14th, 2023. My name is Kurt, and this is my daily Good Life Meditation video, an exercise that I perform every morning just after waking up to remember my life objectives and principles and to see how I did with the uh, challenges and opportunities encountered yesterday. And finally, to plan for the coming day. First off, uh, let's begin with a recount of yesterday. And good morning, Parker. Uh, it's just now a 4.30 a.m., so I'm pretty much on schedule. Yesterday was a very interesting day, uh, a good day in many ways, a day of catching up and getting back on my feet and falling down. Uh, I began the day, as I usually do at this time, and uh, started work around uh, 6.30 a.m. and powered through till about 11.30 a.m. before I realized it was a holiday which uh, then gave me an understanding about why nobody was responding to email or my team's messages or coming to my meetings. Good news is uh, that I was able to get a lot of work done and catch up in relative peace from uh, my 400 plus email. Then I uh, went ahead and had a couple of, had a battery of doctor's appointments, three uh, doctor's appointments uh, 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 after that in the afternoon. Uh, and uh, a nice evening with my wife um, and went to bed to take a sleep apnea test, but uh, could, just couldn't fall asleep and uh, uh, f f the test failed because so, I couldn't sleep last night. Uh, don't know just why I couldn't sleep, but uh, um, oh, I do know it was because the, I do have a good idea, it was because the device was incredibly painful. It was just it was like crushing my finger. Uh, that you're supposed to monitor with. So there was an, um, a help desk. Now, there's actually a message in the instructions that say if you're, if you're experiencing unbearable pain, that was the words that they used, then call this number. And I was telling Emiko, I said, yeah, this is unbearable. And I had actually switched it from my index finger to my pinky finger, but no relief. It was still unbearable there as well. So I called the number, and they basically told me that I uh, to abort the test, so to speak, and uh, uh, turn it back in and they didn't really have any instructions for me so maybe no sleep apnea test for me <clears throat> although apparently that company has several models of their of that device don't know why it was so painful though um, but I, I'll turn it back in and find out as a result I probably got about four hours of sleep last night um, that's going to be a problem today because you know kind of bleeding into today now because I need to go into the office and I have several hours of commute on front of me and I can't drive lately without falling asleep behind the wheel. Um, so this is going to be a problem. And with four hours of sleep, I'm in trouble. So uh, I already downed a quick cup of coffee just to get me going. And I'll get a Starbucks on the way. But I'm a little bit concerned. Can't be falling asleep on the road. So mixed, mixed feelings about yesterday. Um, challenge is an opportunity. I think I met them well. The challenge of... The fact that I worked half a day when I didn't need to. <laughs> the challenge that I had multiple doctor's appointments to juggle uh, in the afternoon and I took care of those. The challenge that I couldn't perform the test and manage that, manage my emotions through that. I was a little bit frustrated in the fact, the fact that I couldn't get enough sleep. I think I managed all of those things. Let's see how I'm doing after work begins in earnest. Because well, the one thing I did realize is from going through my emails is that... Um, there's some problems to address, which I'll begin addressing today. All right, let's do the good life. My seven objectives are as follows. And I'm going to do the lightning round because I have this long commute in front of me this morning. One, the, uh, the objective to be always ready to die. Two, to make good and effective use of my time. Three, to develop and maintain good and sound life principles. Four, to cultivate good emotional reactions. Five, to perform good actions. Six, to recognize my true limits and my true opportunities. And seven, to do just one thing at a time and do the thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. As I'm trying to do now. Okay, let's do the principles now. There are 34. I'm going to tick them off as I go. and Let's see if I can, how close I can get to 34 without missing anything. 
war, reason, homunculus, anchor hold, home of good and evil, purpose, atomic principle, principle of nature, the pirate ride, maturity, social principle, principle of family, public speaking, Here's where I think I might miss one. Distraction. No, I did, did miss one, didn't I? Temperance. That's the West, but it's not distraction. Temperance. Uh, I, I won't check it again. I already checked it. Life will not go well. The horror show. That which must be born. The feast of Ophel. Now, distraction. Agency and the great indifference. That's 20. The best seat in the house. The restless man. The path of wildness. The great life adventure. The risk of avoiding risk, 25. Right around here I have another one I usually miss. I'm good. I know what the next one is. It's uh, sin and damnation, complete oblivion. The season of philosophy. Oh, that might belong two down. Let's see, but I think I got it still. The season of philosophy, followed by script writing, and then the bullseye aim. That's 30 right there, the bullseye aim. The uphill climb, arena and utility. Nothing is enough, and the principle of fun, 34. Kind of, I'm amazed and surprised that uh, I was able to get all 34, uh, given that I haven't been practicing while I was in Japan. I just couldn't pull this off. And it wasn't for want of trying, although there were lots of days that I didn't try. I just completely forgot. My routine was upset and thrown off. I just couldn't get through it. Hmm, interesting. Interesting story yesterday. Uh, Ron in the UK, a longtime friend of the YouTube channel um, and a member of my Discord, uh, of the Discord. He sent me a message that he'd been riding on the subway in London and someone next to him was reading Going Alone. And when he asked about it, the man said that he'd found the copy on uh, the floor uh, of a, uh, just outside a construction site on the ground, just outside a construction site. Strange story. That, that fact alone is strange enough, and we get along the fact that Ron saw somebody reading the Going Alone. Um, and. That's interesting. All that's interesting. But it gets even more interesting. It turns out that the man, they started talking, Ron and this man, and they started talking. And it turns out the man had been, well, the man had claimed that the book looked, this high, the cover looked interesting. There it is right there. So kudos to my daughter who made the cover um, to create a book that would be interesting enough to pick up off the ground. <laughs> interesting looking enough, that is. And the man had explained to Ron that he had been con contemplating suicide. And Ron happened to have a copy of my of one of my other books, No More Looking Out for Number One, which deals with the topic of suicide from a, a different angle, but from the people from the angle of someone left behind. And yet he gave the man his copy, so I'm going to send Ron, you know, a, a new copy after he he moves uh, to his new home soon. Um, anyway, the coincidence I found was just astonishing that in that 
other world uh, somehow a copy of going alone wound up on the ground outside a construction site picked up by a man who was contemplating suicide who then proceeded to meet another man who had a copy of my other book in his bag and offered it to him what what are the odds an amazing story anyway let's carry on and plan for the coming day I'm very nervous about today. I'm nervous about driving. I'm li I literally, I fall asleep at street lights lately. Um, I'm hoping I can make it to work without f falling asleep and crashing or anything. I'll pull over if I start to feel it at all. But um, hmm. I'm really, I don't I haven't felt this nervous in a long time. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera. I don't think I've felt this nervous about anything. Compounded by my, my concern about work, about the state of the project, one of my projects that I discovered to be after I got back. Um, because I'm worried I would, I've been gone for two weeks and basically things are in, are, are in a little bit in trouble. And I don't know that I can pull off a, a quick fix. <sighs> I'm very anxious this morning. Nervous, anxious. So, how what I'm going to do about it? I'm going to finish this video. Upload this video, read the Bible. I'll say us 8 this morning. I'm going to make a little breakfast so I can take my medicine. I'm back on eating breakfast so I can take my medicine. And then I'll uh, get in the car and go to drive to work and try to get there safely. Um, I've got a long day of uh, big all-hands meeting today. don't know exactly what to expect of that. Um, good things, I expect. And then carry on through my day. Okay, I'm, here's what I'm going to begin to do. I'm going to consider the consequence of the thing that I'm worried about, which is the state of my project. Uh, without getting into too much details, the worst thing that can possibly happen is a black eye on myself and the project. Myself as the project manager, as the lead project manager for the project. A black eye for me in the project. So far we've had uh, yeah, successes, and yeah, two successes uh, in a row. Well, three, actually, if you count the first thing. Um, and this next one might be a failure. The, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? Just a delay. It'll, it'll happen. That's all. Kurt, it's not, the, it's not that big a deal. My projects aren't like moon launches, right? I mean, it's not like I've got two men in a space capsule trying to land on the moon. That's a project and a half, right? I mean, good Lord. If, my, if, this, if this thing that happens, is, if it fails this week, um, then it's just a delay. My project, as important as it is to me, is not that big a deal in the, big, in the real world, in the big scheme of things. That's how I'll deal with it. Nevertheless, I'm just, my stomach is a churning knot right now for all of these reasons that failed. Just all these little things, right? Taking my life so seriously when it's not. I guess I should also th remember that the thing that is important to me, I mean, this, it, my work is incredibly important to me, beyond belief. But in terms of the, for, for my personal aims in life, the big picture things is, is my life mission, right? Which is the sharing of the message of the good life via the medium of going alone. That message seems to be having some effect Witness the two stories from this week and last, the one I just related and the one from last week of someone who was reading going alone on a bullet train scooting through Japan at the same hour while I was standing next to the tracks there in Japan. What a coincidence, more train coincidence. My book seems to be getting some traction. Not a lot. Not, I'm not after volume, but quality, right? 
in in the ways that I had hoped all along. And switching to the hardbound edition was a deliberate effort of my own as well because I wanted the book to survive um, passing from hand to hand, which I thought it would have a better chance of doing as a hardbound. Hmm. But how did how did a copy of Going Alone end up at the on the, on the ground outside a construction site in London? So, with that said, I'm going to stop. Anxious as I am, anxious and restless as I am, anxious, restless, and sleepless as I am, we move forward into the day. With that, my life is done, if not finished. Take care. Be safe, but not too safe.